Hello everybody, it's your boy. PricePits01 and today we're here to take over the fan takeover line series. We're here with Christian. That's right. Good old Christian. So anyways, this is the picture of the box. This is back in good old 2011, which is nice. He has the flip the switch t-shirt. This is the only figure that I already got right here, which I'm reviewing right now. Not Randy Orton, not Johnny Gargano, and not X-Pac, which I will be getting very, very soon. And by the way, you guys, I got this figure on Makari, which is pretty nice. So, well, without further ado, let's open him up, shall we? Here he is, guys, out of his packaging, yours truly. The main man himself. The one and only. Hit the switch. Christian. Whoa, what was that? Did you guys hear that? Was that my guy from England? Good old, uh, retro toys? I guess so. Oh, by the way, go ahead and uh, subscribe to him because he's pretty cool. So, uh, without further ado, let's look at good old Christian. Here he is, ladies and gentlemen, old Christian with the old Scribble Scrabble logo on the world heavyweight title the big gold i hope we see it someday soon in the wwe maybe upgrade the logo that'll be pretty sick but it's the same as always nothing hasn't changed and yes he comes with a few interchangeable hands he comes with the opened relaxed hands having his hands out like hey mate how's it going like the good old hello hands and then you have the pointer fingers, you can call them the Daniel Bryan fingers, you can call them the I'm gonna point at you, pointy fingers. But I think the pointy fingers are supposed to be like the part from in every WWE game when Christian comes out, he um he likes he likes to do this, like points down on the ground or something. When he's like trying to get the fans hype or something. And yours truly, he comes with the amazing Hit the Switch t-shirt. I gotta say, I am super happy I got his t-shirt. I don't actually have a t-shirt of it in real life, of course, no. I'm saying I'm glad we got this t-shirt in action figure form. I feel like they should have had made it earlier than I expected, but you know what? It's a fan takeover line, so they can add any type of t-shirts, whatever they want. So, yeah. This is what it looks like without him wearing it, so that's pretty cool. And of course, this is his wrestling attire in 2011 when he was in the Money in the Bank pay-per-view. Pretty nice, like the purple going around. It's kind of the same torso without, not, or should I say the same, um, kind, it, this one is the attire that he was in in the money of the bank but i also remember this figure being a part of with the john long john long itis hopefully i'm saying his name right john long itis he was in this one but his he had a different head sculpt so it's kind of like a re-release of this figure with the new head sculpt so yeah good to know and he does come with the one and only comes with that little tattoo on his arm Without further ado, let's just do the tickulation real quick. So, as an elite, of course, you can split his legs. Wicked awesome. Of course, you can move this so he can go swivel swivel. Of course, you can do it all the way around if you want to. Arms go 60 degrees. Same thing on this side right here. Pretty nice. Pretty nice. Uh, Head goes around 60 degrees. Yipper. And, uh, you can move the hands if you wanted to. I'm going to do his, um, his left hand. You can bend it. You can swivel it, like, move it around a little bit. Same thing on his right hand. He can kick forward on his right leg as well, including his left. So that's pretty nice. And he can double-jointed -joint, double jointed knees. He can definitely bend his knees. He can be like... Why WWE? Why? I'm in AEW. <laughs> Just a joke that it, you can joke about that if you want. It's it's fine. Will he ever come back to the WWE? I'm possibly sure. This is only like a one time thing that he's doing with AEW. He just wants to wrestle and 
wants to wrestle some of the new competitors slash other people, wrestle someone different in AEW like Jungle Boy or Luchasaurus or Kenny Omega, which of course everybody wants to see these guys get in a ring together. Both heavyweight, both world heavyweight champions. You get heavyweight champion um, Christian and then you get world heavyweight champion for Kenny Omega. So yeah, there you go. Um, let's move on, so you can also move this, same thing for his left one, hopefully you guys can see, um, of course, all-time favorite, the ankle pivot, of course you can bend his foot so he can kick a soccer ball, football, whatever, ball type of basketball, whatever type of ball he can kick with his feet and stuff, and, um, or you can do the... You can do like a hopscot match or something like that. Do some hot scot, hot scot, scotch or something like that. You know they do on the on the concrete. And, you know, you, you you guys know what I'm talking about. So yeah, and of course you can swivel this so he can pretend he has a leg injury or foot injury. Oh no, he he has his foot broken and stuff. And then the world title, he can ba you can basically fit the world title, wrap around his waist. You can do it with a shirt on, you can do it with a shirt off, you can do whatever you want. You can add the WWE World Heavyweight Championship, or you can add the AEW World Championship, because he's going to challenge Kenny Omega for the title, so yeah. I think that's about it for my main man, Christian. I'm glad I got this figure. By the way, I got this figure on Makari. Which is pretty nice. Um, he was going for 60 bucks, which is crazy, but we decided to lower it for 54, 54 bucks, so that's pretty nice. So I got the figure early, so yeah. By the timing of this video, I got this figure like around April. So I know this video is going to be posted around a different month by the timing of this video is uploaded to YouTube, so yeah. So thank you guys for watching, you guys mean the world to me, and make sure you leave a like and share this video with your friends, and uh, yeah, I'll see you guys next time, peace!